Wisdom to the wisdom. Wisdom to the wisdom. Black line my mind so I can be reborn again. Put out speed your way. So my new vessel won't have sent. This world is golden. Global corrosion is eating everyone alive except for the most high's chosen people. And ain't no sequel in the end time the Hebrew Israelites. Hit your rock your enzymes. Let me define my mind. It's not that complicated. He that has an ending here is mental will be elevated. Simply stated, I was intoxicated and inebriated by the old me until I was emancipated. The shield of wisdom helps the purge of the schism within the body. Cause human nature taught me to be naughty and haughty. The words of hooker ran has got a big disease. But I got spiritual medication so my soul can be at ease. We got the shield, we got the helmet and, and the sword. We got to kill that old man so we can kick it with the Lord. Brother, brother, can't you see it? Wisdom, brother, brother. What's the truth have done for me? Can't you see it? Can't you see it? How y'all sisters doing? How y'all sisters doing? Y'all know y'all damn Janelle? Hey, she is, she is simple and knowing nothing, brother. Okay? So, you know, we out here for the Negro, Native Americans, and Latinos. Come out here to teach repentance. That we need to repent, come back to the laws of God, of Israel, all right? And uh, believe in his son. Can I read that again? Judge for reward. Give me that in my God. You know, these, these passages are all about money, man. That's all it is. It's a, it's a, it's a hustle, man. You know, a song and a dance. You got that up? You know, Micah, Micah 3, 3 11. Uh -huh. you know, because the scriptures tell you that these uh, these preachers and prophets that are prophesying in these churches, they're not teaching the truth. They're not telling you who the Israelites are. They're not telling you who Christ died for. You know what I'm saying? They're not preaching about the, the, the destruction that's coming upon America. Okay, and then all the evils that, that are coming, you know. Also, they're not telling you that the color of Christ. They're saying his color don't matter. When it's, the Bible speaks about the color of Christ, it's not telling you who his people is or none of that, man. All they're telling you is pass the bucket around, brother. Go ahead, Ock. This is Micah chapter 3, verse 11. It says, the heads thereof judge for reward. They do it. The heads thereof do what? Judge for reward. Pass the bucket around, brother. Judge for reward. And the priests thereof teach for hire. They do what? Preach for hire. See that? So they tell you that these preachers, they're not sincere, brother. You know, they teach it for hire, you know. And they, like the majority of these churches under the 501c3, tax exempt, man. So it's all about that money, brother. So would you say that you got 
to get the black woman out of that black church. That's right. We got to get the black woman out of the church, and we have to deal with, the, you know, the elders of this world, man, and, and the brothers of Israel that's teaching the true sound doctrine and the laws of God. You know, because these churches are saying that the laws of, of God is done away with, but here it is who the world called Jesus Christ. In the book of Matthew, he says, I came not to destroy the law. In Matthew, the fifth chapter, brother, nor the prophets. Yeah. That's all they had was the law and the prophets. Yep. Let's, give me the quote where uh, Christ, he, he read the book, the uh, uh, prophets. Give me that in Luke, I tell Luke, the fourth chapter, and, and uh, 16. Luke 4 and 16, because who the world, these people, these Christians, they're not real Christians. The real Christians were the Hebrew Israelites, the true Jews, the Negroes, that were called Christians in Antioch, you know? They were called Christians. They didn't call themselves Christians, but they were called that. Go ahead, right? this, this is Luke chapter 4, verse 16, and he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. That's talking about who the world called Jesus Christ of my shop. Y'all were shocked. What? And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. Ah, on the Sabbath day. Okay. Which uh, today is the Sabbath. Okay. Okay. And we have to we have to learn the scriptures and the laws of God on the Sabbath. And, you know, if you're not learning the laws of God, you need to be at home resting, man. You know? Go ahead. And stood up for to read. He came up to read. This is who the world called Christ. Go ahead. And there, sorry, and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. Wait a minute, what book did Christ read? The book of the prophet Isaiah. Wait a minute, brother, the Old Testament done away with, brother. The book of the prophet Isaiah. See that, brother? You got here. We we have Christ on the Sabbath day. It is a Sabbath is done away with. I can I can celebrate the Sabbath on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It don't matter, brother. We ain't under the law. He said. He said. What, brother? Read that again says, and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. This is who the world called Christ. Read the book of Isaiah. Read. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. The spirit of Yahweh is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted. That's what we out here for. We out here to heal our people that are brokenhearted that are tired of being afflicted, being gunned down, being hated, struggling. The scripture says this is our rest. This is money, man. The, the Lord said, come and buy bread of me. This is the true riches. You know, our people seeking the riches of this world. We need to come back to the Torah, the Torah, and the, and the laws of the Heavenly Father and the faith of His Son. Because this is our wealth. You know, the scripture says we were, we were, uh, we were strangers from the commonwealth of Israel. You know, we don't even know that we're the richest people on earth, man. If we come back into the Heavenly Father, who, who our ancestors made a covenant with. Go ahead, brother. To preach deliverance to the captives. To, 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 to preach deliverance to the captives. You Negroes, they Americans, Latinos, you're in slavery, man. God said he's going to deliver you out of that, man. Once you come back into his, his laws, statutes, and commandments, and we come together and unify as one people. Con, con, because this is hell right now, man. Okay, the scripture says he has chosen us in the furnace of affliction, man. And all you see is our people being afflicted and gunned down, man. And hating one another. We have to stop hating one another and love each other. Okay? The scripture says if you love the Most High, keep his commandments. And the commandment says to love thy neighbor as thyself, man. Okay? And we, and we, we got to repent, sister. You got to put them cigarettes down, too, sister, because that's destroying your temple. I'm sorry. I, I got to yeah. tell you, sister. Yeah. That's right. You know, repent, sister. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Give me Colossians. I mean, give me uh, Corinthians, uh, your temple, Akia. Okay. I think it's 1 Corinthians uh, 3, 17. I'm not mistaken. 16? No, 3. Chapter 3, Akia. Okay, because we can't be done following our temple with these cigarettes and all that other thing, man. Okay. And also, like my brother always say, the uh, cigarette, they're putting pig uh, blood in the filters, man. Uh, okay? Uh, That's right, man. Go ahead, Akia. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Three? Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High. Don't, don't you know that, black man? That woman? That American man? Okay, that you're the temple of the Most High. The Most High speaks to it to prophets, man, to his servants, the prophets, okay? Because God is not going to come down here and speak to you, okay? He's definitely not coming down here to speak to you, man. That is Satan, <laughs> okay? Hey, no, 
Okay? We're going to prophesy see, to this kingdom be destroyed, man. The scripture says, give them no rest to, you know what I'm saying? He established Jerusalem in the earth, man. Brother, you paraphrase. Right. You were you a king, brother. You were Israelite. Come back to your house by Shem Yahweh Shah, brother. We were Israel. Which the word Israel is Hebrew, which means, which is Hebrew, the Paleo Hebrew is Yashar Allah, which means he is the prince of the Most High. Okay? And that's why we have the most talent on earth. And we're very skillful even in our lower state, man. Okay? But we have to come back to the God of Israel. And that's what was the whole mission of who the world, Jesus Christ, what he died for, to bring us back to Israel, to the Father. They said we became like lost sheep. Okay? And Negroes are known to have woolly hair and to be lost in, in all types of doctrine here in the Christian church. Okay? My brother, like, like, like the Zaguan say, you got 65 different identities to call yourself. You, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Black, more. Christian, you know, Church of God in Christ, man. Those are not nationalities, man. That's right. Brother, what I'm going to ask you a question. What would you say to 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 black folks, black women, and black men that running out here, dating, marrying, having children with, they're former slave masters? I mean, what 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 you got to say about that? I can get a scripture out there. How about you now? Show us what's up. Uh, Hebrews 13 out there. Say that again, brother. You said about the black woman and the black woman out there. The black woman, I don't know if you're familiar with this term, swirl. They they interracial, they, 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 they walk the white man. And oh, dealing with the other nations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, you got one, brother? Give me one there, bro. I know you got one, bro. Give me uh, um, Joshua 23. So is that, is that, is that, uh, Give me Deuteronomy 7-6. Is, is that a sin? We're going to read the law. The law. So God, let's get the Torah. Because we're not going to tell you what we, what we feel, brother. We're going to let the book speak. The scripture says, let go out there and speak my words unto them. Con, con. This is Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto Yahweh thy power. See that? The Bible says we're a holy people, man. We, we have pure, pure spirits, man. You Negroes and American Latino. That's why we out here getting gunned down and still having mercy on our oppressors. You know what I'm saying? Daily. Read. Yahweh by power has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. The Bible says God chose us above all the other nations. We special, read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Go ahead. Says Yahweh did not set his love upon you, nor choose you because you were more in number than any than any people, for ye were the fewest of all Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, sorry, This is Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 3. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. It's not that. We're going to start from the top. Alright, this is Deuteronomy chapter 7. Verse 1. When Yahweh thy power shall bring thee into the land where thou goest to possess it and have cast out many nations. That's talking about the land of Israel. When those the people over there calling themselves Jews, over there uh, sacrificing abominations in our land and uh, celebrating and speaking Yiddish in our land, man. They're going to be destroyed out of our land, the Bible says. Really? And the Bible says that they're the devil, man. Okay? Those that say they are Jews and are not, man. That is Esau, our twin brother in the Bible. Read. God says, cast out all the nations before thee, the Hittites, and the Girgashites, and the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than thou. And when Yahweh thy power shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. This is going into when we when we got the land of Israel, you know what I'm saying? When Moses and Joshua went to, to fight the Canaanites, go ahead. Thou shalt, thou shalt make no covenant with them. Go ahead, we now just made a contract with them, read. Nor show mercy unto them. Says, neither shall thou make marriages with them. What the Bible said? Neither shall thou make marriages with them. That's talking about, you know what I'm saying, a covenant, man. Because a relationship is a covenant. Okay? 
We are not to make a, covenant, a, a relation being married with these other nations, the Bible speaks, okay? Because if you, you know what I'm saying, one, you had your, the dad trying to teach the Dawah and the heathen mom, she's trying to take him to, to, to uh, worship Satan, you know? You got something like that? Oh, yeah. Calm, calm. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's like that. I mean, stop me there. It's like that. <laughs> kind of tour, tour. How you doing, sister? You know you're an Israelite, you need to come back to the God of Israel. I know you think you're beautiful, but you need to come back to these scriptures, because these scriptures is beautiful. Okay? Oh, you know you're beautiful, huh? Hey, the scripture says beauty is vain. Give me that proverbs, brother. Okay? You know? We gotta come back to the most high, man. You know? Uh, give me Joshua 23, though. For the, oh, yeah, we got some. No, I, I, I think the edge one. Because the brother was dealing with the, uh, you know, us dealing with the We asked the question, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Verse 6 and 69. Because the scriptures speak against interracial marriage, brother. You know, and then there's a quant. The elder got stuff to bring home for you, man. You know, you, hey, take this with you, brother. You know what I'm saying? Soak it in. I'm going to First Ezra 6 and 69. Come on. Come on. Go ahead, brother. Read the 71. 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 
Okay. Because if we stay wrong with these people, we're going to follow their gods, follow their traditions. You're here celebrating Labor Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Uh -huh, that's right, man. It's going to lead to destruction, brother. The scripture says the way to wicked is destruction. You got that or not? I got it. Let me, let me do it. I just got here. Deuteronomy 32, 8 and 9. I'm going to show you something. Because you asked about interracial marriages and so forth. You say no. Right? You say, oh, no, it's okay, right? Right. It's okay with you, right? Okay, let's see what it says. Deuteronomy 32, 8 and 9. You believe in Christ? You believe in Christ? You don't. But that's why you probably saying what you're saying. You with the wicked, B. Deuteronomy 32, verse 39. It's like a 32 and 8. When the Most High divided the nations, their inheritance, we integrated everybody, we did what? When the Most High divided to the nations, their inheritance, Most High divided the nations, the land that they're going to live in. That's what it's talking about, right? When he separated, no, when he integrated everybody. What the Most High do? When he separated the sons of Adam, separated the sons of Adam, read. He set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. The bounds of all nations, lands, the most high. The most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And that's what we represent. The most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob is the forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel. Quite plain. Without a shadow of a doubt. You know, if you don't believe in them, that's on you, man. You got hell fire waiting for you. Go ahead. Listen, it ain't a hell of a joke, man. Number three. This is Romans chapter 3. Burning hell, the devil. Romans chapter 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? What if some of you don't believe, me? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? So your unbelief, not being on the most high, make the faith of the most high, what he's saying here, without effect, me? God forbid. The most high forbid, me? Yeah. Who wrote that Let book? God be true. The most high be true, me? But every man a liar. That's what you are, man, a straight liar. Thinking that you could just be with anyone. That's why the most high gave every man his woman. That's what the brother asked the question. What about these interracial marriage? So we just see that the most high divided all the nations when he gave them their land after he gave the children of Israel, the twelve tribes of Israel, our land. So let's, let's look at what he called when the Mashiach got shy, who the world thought he called Jesus Christ. When he called back, look at Matthew 25 and 31. Let's see what he's going to do. A lot of y'all say y'all believe in him. Y'all believe in this interracial marriages and everything will be cool. Let's see what he's going to do when he comes back. Matthew 25, 31. You'll see, this is what, this is real. When he, everybody tell him when he comes back, oh yeah, we're going to have righteousness on this earth. You should want a righteous kingdom on the real. This is what he's going to do when he comes back. Matthew 25 and 31. Matthew chapter 25, verse 31. Matthew 15. It says, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory. Yeah, when the Son of Man, who was a Mashiach, that was shot, who the world falsely called Jesus Christ, because that's not the name, because the J was invented in 1638 AD. That's when they started using the J. You understand? So when he come in the glory of his power, read, and all the holy angels with him. Oh, yeah, he coming with 200 million angels. All the holy angels come with him, read. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. He sit upon the powers and the authority that the most have given him, for the power of his glory, right? And before him shall be gathered all nations. That's about the nations. So before Mashiach Yahushua is going to be gathered all nations. Every nation that's on this earth. We got different nations on this earth. Let's see what he's going to do when he come back. And he shall separate men. How are you going to separate when everybody going to be integrated? Yeah. Just like he told us in Deuteronomy 32, 8 and 9. That's right. He divided the nations. He separated all the nations. He gave every nation their lands. Just like he gave every nation, every man, their woman. Really? Read that again. And before him shall be gathered all nations. So before him shall be gathered all the nations, me. Really. And he shall separate them one from another. What? He's going to separate all the nations one from another. That means he's going to set the Israelites over here. He's going to set the, the Japanese over there. Uh. The Chinese over there. The Arabs. And the uh, East Indians, the Africans, but we're not Africans. You see? He's going to set them over there. All these nations are going to be separated right. amongst each other, right? As a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. Shepherd divided the sheep from the goats, right? 
So okay. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand. He shall set the sheep on his right hand. Now who are the sheep he's talking about? This is what he said out of his own mouth, Matthew 15, 24. Because you out there, mainly of Negro, the Indian, Latino, and the you represent the 12 tribes of Israel. Oh. This is what he's going to do, Matthew 15, 24. Listen to what he said. Read. Matthew 15, 24. Uh -huh. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yeah, he said, I'm only sent unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's from him. That's what he said. John 4, 22. Yeah, read. Jeremiah 50 and 17. Yeah. This the sheep. Israel is a scattered sheep. Yeah, we are the scattered, scattered sheep. Israel. What do you do? So you're looking at salvation, being saved and so forth. Salvation is nothing but power and authority. That's all it means. This is what he said. This is what Christ said. This is what he said. John 4 and 22. Right. He worship, he know not what. A lot of you out there don't know what you worship. You don't know what you worship, and you think you're a Gentile, but you're really the children of Israel. That's we, right. We know what we worship. We know what we worship. Why? For salvation, that means power, rulership, and authority on this earth, we, is of the Jews. Of who? Jews. The Jews, man. So we say, I'll set the sheep on his right hand and the goats on the left. Now he's redefining the sheep as the children of Israel. Who the goats? Daniel 8, 21. This is Sirach, and they're about to put chapter 17, verse 17. For in the division of the nations of the whole earth. Yeah. Listen how he divided the nations again. He's going to tell you again. Separate all the nations. Read. He set a ruler over every people. He set a ruler over every people. So every people had a ruler over them. And we we like a like like nonsense, do it nonsense, ask for a king. We had the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jake. We had a Mashiach, Yahweh, in the spirit. Always. He always been there from the beginning. But now we want to be like the other nations. So we set a ruler over every people. Listen. But Israel, but who? But Israel, Israel, Israel who we are, read. It's Jehovah's portion. It's Jehovah's portion, y'all. You hear that? We his portion. Now give me the goats in Daniel 8, 21. Because he said he'll set the sheep on his right hand through the goats. Read. Daniel 8, 21. The rough heat, the rough goat is the king of Grecia. There it is. Who the first king of the Greeks? Alexander the Greek. You can read about him in 1st Maccabees. The first chapter. That's why they took out the, the, the apocrypha. This right here. They took this out of the Bible. The Protestants took it out. You know why? Because when you go to Malachi, that stops. That ends with the Persian and Median Empire. So when you by the time you get to Matthew, you're in the Roman Empire. What about the Greek Empire? It's missing. That's why you go to Daniel's prophecies that's sp spoken about is about the Greeks coming into power. Who are the Greeks? The so-called white people coming into power. Who was their first ruler? First Maccabees 1 and 1. Look. First Maccabees 1 and 1. And it happened after Alexander, son of Philip the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Chittim, had smitten Darius, king of the Persians, and Medes, that he reigned in his stead the first over Greece. Yeah, Alexander the Greek. Y'all know about them. Y'all start history out with them like something began great when y'all came into power. The first over Greece, the king of the Greeks, man. Alexander the Greek, right there in the Bible. So that's missing. It's right here. The, the, the Protestants took it out because it's still in the Catholic Bible, but oh. the Protestants took it out. Why? You're going from the Persian Media Empire to the Roman Empire. So you're skipping a whole empire when the Greeks came into power. You understand? That's right. Going, skipping that, going into the Roman Empire when the Mashiach Yavashai was born. No, you got to go into the Greek Empire. Straight up. And it's right here, man. 14 books that you took out of the Bible. They're not hidden anymore because we got them right here. And this Bible, this Bible right here, the King James 6 and 11 Bible right here is in here. You see? But they took it out, man. Because they don't want you to know the truth. So now he's saying, go, say, go back to Matthew 25, 31. Because it's very important that we coming back. To set righteousness on this earth, man. He's gonna set the sheep on his right hand and the goats on the left. So all you that like that brother right there talking about, ah oh, nah. You know, he's all against, you know, what the most high said and separating us from all other nations, said we ain't supposed to be dealing with these other nations. Because what you gonna do? Pretty soon they keep you keep breeding with them, pretty soon you are them. You're not yourself anymore. That's why we lost, man, destroyed for lack of knowledge, because we don't know who we are. I have sixty-five different identities, brother, when I ask you, brother, what's your race? 
What's your nationality? 65 different identities. I mean, it's wow, crazy. Just asking a brother, what's your race, man? All kind of different identities. We are the lost sheep of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's who we are. What's your race, brother? What would you, what'd you say you are? Israelite. Okay. <laughs> African Israelite. You said African Israelite? <laughs> yeah. <Calm>. 66. <laughs> 66, dang it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're not African, brother. Uh, We're not even African, man. What, is the, what, huh? what, is, what does the book say about women? Like, what world's women's role? Get uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 11 and, and 3. You got to go? All right, you got to fire, man. Like, like, we have conference calls, too, man. You can call in and, and ask your questions, whatever, at least about three times a week. Okay. Read All right. Go. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3 yeah. But I would have you know Have you know the most I say right? That the head of every man Is Christ yeah. The head of every man is the Mashiach El Shai right? uh, And the head of the woman Is the man and The head of the woman is who? The man The man, right? And the head of a Mashiach Is the most high The head of a Mashiach Is the most high so that's the order, man. It's order like that. Why is it like that? It started with Eve in the garden, man. Genesis 3 and... Uh, Genesis chapter 3, verse 16. Unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. Right. That's having those labor pains when she's having a baby, right? And so thou shalt bring forth children, and, they, and thy desire shall be to thy husband. From the beginning. Her desire shall be toward her husband, me, right? and he shall rule over thee. He shall rule over the woman, right? So now go to verse. What happened to Adam? What was the first thing he told Adam? Listen. Oh, what you want me to And unto Adam, to Adam, me, he said. What did he say to Adam? Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife. Because you listened to the voice of your wife. And tell you, it's gonna be all right. You know, we're gonna be, we're gonna have power. That's the whole thing. Because you listen to your, I mean, you can listen to your woman, but you gotta make the right decision. You understand? It's on you to make the right decision. She gotta let you decide what's gonna, what it's gonna be. Right? And has, and unto Adam he said, because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife. But you listen to that to your woman, right? And has eaten of the tree. Of whom, of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. That's the tree of good and evil. That's what we all dealing with right now, man. Ah. That tree of good and evil. We had the tree of righteousness, the tree of life. So you can eat of it. You see what I'm saying? But now we want to eat of the tree of good and evil. Why you want to know about evil? When you, when the Most High made you righteous. You see what I'm saying? But here it is. It's because of power, man. It was all about power. Look, we're going to have power. We're going to be just like these other nations that was on the earth at that time. Doing the things that you see other people are doing right now in wickedness. But what do, we, what do you have? What's the result of it? You're going to be burnt up, man. You're going to be cast through the lake of fire. Where the worms never die and the fires never quench. You ain't ready for that. You think you're ready for that? All you hardcore brothers out there, that, uh, think y'all ready for that? Take a, take a matches, a, a lighter, and start burning each finger one at a time. You ain't ready for that. That was the most I said. He's going to melt you. He's going to melt you, man. Straight up, man. Are you ready? You ain't ready for that. Y'all think y'all ready for that, man. The most high. You don't know the most high, man. Y'all better understand what we talking about. Y'all say God, you can create your own one if you want to. He ain't the one in the Bible. You better understand what he said, man. He, this is for real. That's why young women, you women, y'all better get in order, man. And you really got to get in order to stop being chumps, man. And rule your house. Rule your women like you're supposed to be in righteousness, though. Come back to the law, says commandments of the Most High. His rules and regulations, brother. But how you going to know if you ain't studying from Genesis to Deuteronomy? His laws are there. You see what I'm saying? Telling you how to be righteous. That's it. You see what I'm saying? Otherwise, man, you got the lake of fire. What's I ain't playing? One third of our people, that's these 12 tribes, man, going to make it. Two thirds of you going to be put to death. That's why we're here to warn you to repent and come back to his law, statute of commandments and have faith in the Mashiach that was shot. That's the only way we're going to be delivered out of this earth, man. That's the only way. Where you at? This is Ezekiel chapter, uh...
Straight up, them folks out these preachers are lying to the 